Hi, this is John from Info Hut, and today's video is on the iOS 10 and iPhone 7 top 10 hidden features that I think you'll find very useful. First up, we've got number one, bedtime mode. Bedtime mode, you can set the time to go to sleep and to wake up so you can get consistent sleeping hours. The great thing about this is that you get reminders. Number two, we have the press to unlock feature. This was disabled once iOS 10 came out, but the good news is you can just tap the button and the phone will unlock. You go to settings general, then you go to home button, and then you turn the fingerprint to uh, unlock button on. Now, number three, we have set up find where I have parked. Now, I like this feature. What you have to do is activate it and the iPhone, if you ever go to the shops or anywhere, it'll tell you where you have parked. The only thing that you need to activate in this is Wi-Fi, car stereo mode, or Bluetooth for this to work. But just go through those settings in, well, sorry, in settings and go to maps, and then you'll be able to activate it through there. Number four is force touch for control center. Now this is fairly useful. I probably only find two useful, which is the light. You can go to low light, medium, and bright light. You can go to the stopwatch, which it's something that I don't use, but you can do a countdown and a reminder. You can go to the calculator to try and copy the last actual uh, result. And of course, the camera one, which is the, probably the second one that I find most useful. And now for number five, we've got Siri can announce calls. First, go to settings, then go to phone then announce calls and then you'll be able to pick if you want to always announce calls through headphones and car through headphones only or never which is set at the default so that is one other handy thing that Siri can do now the next one is changing text effects through iMessage a lot of people have uh, released videos on uh, how the new iMessage works I think this is one useful tool that a lot of people will start to use and uh, it seems to be very hard to find. So what you need to do is just go create a new message. Oh, oh, here we go. Now, what you do is you have to hard press on the arrow next to the word. And once you do that, you'll be able to select from the different types of wording or the different types of styles, should I say, from the actual menu. And then you have to just press the arrow button again and shoot it across. And the next tip that went unnoticed is probably one of my favorite uh, throughout the uh, whole iOS 10 update, and that is getting rid of those annoying default apps that Apple install with the uh, phone that we never use, like uh, tips, stuff like, uh, I mean, some people don't even use podcasts. You've got the other ones where you've got uh, iWatch, where I don't own an iWatch, so I don't really need that. There's a lot of different apps. You can't delete all of them but I still find it very helpful that they've allowed to delete some of them. And remember to reinstall any of them, just search for them in the App Store. And for the eighth one, I found this very interesting. I really don't understand why they didn't put it with the camera, but for some reason, um, it's something that you have to do, enter in settings. You go to the settings menu once again, and then from the settings menu, you go to general, and then you go to, and I'll just find that, accessibility. There's an option for magnifier. What this does is essentially is a magnifying glass where you can even take a snapshot of, and the actual quality on the iPhone 7 is amazing. Uh, there's one that I actually took before with the quality. I've obviously had to just gray out those numbers due to privacy, but uh, here we've got a box, and I'll just do a bit of a zoom in on the box which is really amazing. I mean, this video is only in 1080p, but uh, when you actually do test it out, the great thing is you can take a snapshot and you can zoom in and out on that snapshot. So another great feature in the iOS 10. Okay, the next feature is the markup feature in photos. This has been around for a while, but some people still don't know how to use it now. Next to the heart, to the right of the heart, there's an icon, press that, and then you'll go into some settings. What you need to do is select the correct settings. Now what I do is I just usually, the three dots on the bottom right, 
you click on that, then go markup. And then what you can do is right on the actual photo, you can even edit it and add stuff in case you need to um, annotate certain things for personal or business use. There's even a zoom function, which is really good. Like I actually use that for certain things in uh, iPhone repairs. So I do find that really good. Now, uh, the great thing is, is that it's fairly quick and easy to use. What you need to do is just make sure you save it and then you can send it with all the edits that you have done. Another great feature. Now, the last feature is no secret. It's been around for a while, but for some reason, a lot of people still forget to do it or choose not to do it. For those with older phones, you probably already know how to do this. For those with new phones, you would have opened it with iOS 10. This is software updates. You need to go to settings, general, software update, and ensure that your software is always up to date as it has important security patches and obviously, Apple do try to make the user experience a lot better. Once again, thank you for watching this video. Please subscribe below. And if you do like the video, hit the like button.